What's up, coding fans? Here we are at Island Builder. Uh, this is one of my favorites because um, we're going to do a lot in here, more than just get that check mark. Um, but for right now, we're going to go through it and kind of just get that check mark. But um, we're supposed to build an island surrounded by sea, and they've got all the syntax in there ready for us. It's just time to figure out what we need to do. So let's dive right into this. All right, so we've got our let all coordinates equal world dot all possible coordinates, um, which means that we're going to use all of the coordinates on this map, which is a 12 by 12. Um, now, if we were going to code this line by line, that would mean that we would need uh, code for each of the 144 different spaces. And if you look at the code that we're going to need here, it's significantly less than 144 lines of code. Really, it would need to be significantly more than that. All right? So, let all coordinates equal world dot all possible coordinates. Now, in order to build an island, we need two things. We need to place land, and then we need to place the sea. So let's go ahead and create two empty arrays, empty arrays of these coordinates. And I like to go ahead and get myself a space between, an extra space between the create two empty arrays comment and our first four in loop. So let's go ahead and code our island array. So variable name island, I-S-L-A-N-D. And then this is where, because it's going to be an empty array, we at least need to tell our computer uh, what type it's going to be. So colon, space, and then I like to flick down on the H to get my braces, okay? Super simple, find the H. And the other thing you can do um, later is we'll get the uh, braces or brackets popping up, but pull down on the H, whoops down and right on the H, and it'll give us both. And it is of the type coordinate. So there we have that. And then our value is just an empty array. So you'll see that we've got uh, next to all coordinates right here, values. Um, we can just put that and then delete the values because it is an empty array. Or uh, we can pull down on the H again. And then it wants us to put the uh, colon right there. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to hit return, and we need our C. So if it's not island, it's going to be C. So variable C, and then co uh, colon, space, and then brackets again. So right here, uh, H. And then of type, capital coordinate. And then we have our empty array here. So that gets our two empty arrays. Now we've got our, so for these places in all coordinates, okay? And this is where we are going to say, okay, if it's in here, we're gonna place our island, otherwise we're gonna put the C, okay? So we need to tell the computer where we want to put our island. Um, so, to figure out how wide it's going to be, we're going to use our columns. So for coordinate, that is our loop name. So lowercase coordinate dot column. Okay, and I like to start on the left and end on the right. So we're going to say, okay, it's going to start at three and go to the right. So to the right, so starting at three, four, five, six, seven, blah, 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 and on the way up. So if it's greater than or equal to three, okay? Double and, and I like to go ahead and code this out. Double and, space, coordinate dot column. And now we need to tell it where to stop because if we just leave it as greater than three, it'll go all the way to the right without stopping. All right, coordinate dot column. And then to end it, we're gonna end it at less than or equal to eight. All right, so that will make it start at three and end at eight, okay? All right, and that's left or right. And we're gonna make a square island, so I'm gonna do the same thing with our rows. So double and space coordinate dot row. And I like coding from uh, bottom to top here, small least to greatest. So we're gonna do the same thing here. 
it's going to be greater than or equal to three. And we use greater than or equal to because that's where it's going to start, meaning starting at three, including three and going up, but ending at and coordinate dot row is going to be less than or equal to eight. All right, so from basically three, three to eight, eight is going to be our um, island, okay? So that's where this is going to go. All right, so our island's gonna be there, so we need to append our island array. So, okay, hey, after you found all these places, we're gonna put the island there. So append lowercase coordinates, all right? So in these coordinates, we're gonna put the island else. Okay, else means otherwise it's going to be the C. So if it's inside these spaces here, 3, 8 to 3, 8, we're going to put the island. Otherwise, we're going to put the C. C dot append coordinates. Uh, not coordinates, coordinate, lowercase. All right, in the coordinates, we're, or in coordinate, we're going to put the island. And then if it's not one of these designated one else, it's going to be the C. So now we get to tell our computer um, what we want it to be. So for item in array, we get to name whatever this is. The computer likes coordinate. I'm going to say for land in my island array. All right. You could put coordinate, but I think this is going to make more sense. It doesn't matter what we name it. So I'm going to say, okay, for the land, we told us where we want the island to be. This is what the island is going to be made of. Okay, we're going to world.place a block. All right, we're only going to make the island one block high. World.place block, capital block, with parentheses, at lower, or at our array name land. Okay, so we're going to place a block for land. All right, now for our C array, okay, what do I want to call this? So for our water is kind of weird. Um, for our, you know, we'll just call it lowercase water. Or coordinate, whatever. For the water in the sea, we need to do two things, okay? Because there is land here, all right? There's land all over here. We need to remove all of the land that is not the island and then place. So world dot, okay? And we are removing it from the world that's already here. Otherwise, if we were removing it from our uh, array, we would start with that. So world dot, and we wanna remove all blocks. All right, remove all blocks at lowercase water. Okay, remove all the blocks where we're gonna put the water. And then we need a world dot place water where we want the water world dot place place item capital water with parentheses at where we want the little water so water is what is going in each space this water is where we're going here all right so let's go ahead and run our code and see if i screwed this up all right there's our island going down it's going to be pretty square. All right, and as you can see, it's going through all of the other places that are not the island, and it's removing the block and placing water. All right, and to dot, we've got it. Now, we can manipulate this, and if you're just trying to get the check mark, then we can go ahead and stop here. But just to kind of show you how we're going to manipulate this, um, we can change the size of the island just by messing with these numbers. So if I want this island to be three wide and seven tall, well, then I just need three blocks. So let's say I start it at four, five, and six. 
So starting my coordinate column at four and ending at six will make this three wide. If I want this seven tall, then maybe I'll start my row at one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and go to seven. So starting at one and going to seven, and you'll notice that this will allow our island to be three wide and seven tall. And then the other thing that we could do, if we want it to be the same size, but shift it right and up, well, you just shift it however far right and however far up. So if I want this three to the right, I just add three to my X's or my columns. So four and three is seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then if I want to go two up, I just add two here. So um, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, and it will shift the island right and up. Okay, so this just shows you, yep, see, there it is. All right, so this just kind of shows you how just by manipulating our, um, our coordinate columns and rows, we can make the island bigger and smaller. We can change the shape and we can change its location. All right, well, this is the end of Island Builder, um, the module, but in the next video, we're going to start playing with multiple islands and shapes and stuff like that. All right, see you on the next one. Love you. Bye.